two and a half million solar modules, more than 2,500 acres of land, 8,500 pairs of hands at work, putting up an ambitious display of the finest in solar technology while racing towards a tight deadline. Even when Mother Nature decides to throw in a few surprises, we went to hell and back. The team would try not to let anything eclipse their progress. As they braved breakdowns and delays, aiming to make one of the world's largest solar power plants in a single location, 648 megawatts of clean, green electricity will soon be generated and putting this massive solar power plant together on time is Adani, one of India's leading infrastructure conglomerates. This is an inside look at a mega structure that is India's solar powerhouse. Or SCADA was installed for a particular feature. Internally called the control philosophy, this feature will allow for limits to be set remotely on power generation. Depending on the grid requirement on any given day, instead of field engineers being sent on site to turn down inverters according to the grid's demand. So typically in a power plant, the output depends on the radiation level on a given day. This uh, project is uh, spread over an area of 2,500 acres. So it might so happen that one small part of this area has a cloud cover. So generation in that part might be affected momentarily. Already, there are officials from the Tamil Nadu Generation and Distribution Corporation to do some preliminary checks on site. There are a lot of exercises which are required because uh, what we are connecting when the plant of this size is actually getting connected to the power grid. Uh, the disturbances which can happen is important and we have to isolate the sections as soon as the fault happens so that the national grid is not disturbed at all. At the end of the day, when it comes to electricity, a grid has to always remain stable. Typically in a solar power plant, the generation stops around 6.30 in the evening. But uh, we need power to run equipment like SCADA, lighting systems and so on. So we take back power from the state electricity board. This is called a backflow. Essentially backflow is we taking power from the grid to power our systems here whenever we are not generating power. Young engineers like Shariram and others have to keep their eyes on the finish line. One country is taking long and fast strides towards a national goal of becoming one of the world leaders in solar power generation by 2022, India. We have set ambitious targets. By 2030, we will reduce emissions by 33 to 35 percent of 2005 levels and produce 40% of our power from non-fossil fuels. We will achieve it by expanding renewable energy, for example, by adding 175 gigawatts of renewable energy, energy generation by 2022.